from the desert's news leader. This is Eye on the Desert from News Channel 3. Good afternoon and welcome to Eye on the Desert. I'm your host, Patrick Evans. Today we're talking about the Artist Council. Of course, so many things have changed due to COVID and and uh, the way we do art events in the Coachella Valley, certainly amongst those things that have changed. Ulrike, a great artist and a member of the council, along with Chris Cozen, joined me to talk about uh, some upcoming events and also how the Artists' Council has adapted in this time of COVID and pandemic. Welcome, ladies, both of you. Thank you. Pat. Thank you. Well, first well, of all, artists... I think we should tell people who don't know exactly what the Artists' Council is and what you guys do. Well, we're on a 501c3 organization that includes all of the artists uh, in the Coachella Valley and beyond. We have a membership of about 300 still, even so in the virtual times, so very proud of that. And we have really, really worked diligently to adjust to this new uh, creating of programming and so forth. As you know, we used to be at the Galen, that was our home base, and of course the museum had shut down, so we had to move everything virtually until further notice. Um, we moved physical classes, like the popular critique group, for instance, into the Zoom world, and then of course Chris had a lot to do with her programming. So as let's soon talk as about some of the upcoming programming and how you guys are, are transferring that over to a virtual platform. Well, this summer we started, we just picked right up. Uh, we didn't waste any time. We got um, Zoom talks on, lectures. We had a speaker on art and activism. We launched a couple of paints and, paint and sips. And then as soon as fall rolled around, we had another set of classes. And at the moment, we're involved in planning the programming from January through June. Uh, and we're pulling in artists from all across the United States. Um, I worked with Golden Artist Colors for a number of years and I called on my colleagues to help us out. And we've got people from eat back East and Northern California, um, the South, all of us coming in to help us virtually um, pick up the programming. And I wanted if I can point out, we also worked hard behind the scenes because we created a whole new website, which is very interactive. For example, it showcases virtual exhibition done in a 360 degree environment. And since we couldn't be in the museum, we're using the walls of the museum and we're exhibiting virtually. So you feel like you're kind of walking through it, which is really cool. We also opened a new member gallery, which is also great because now we have a sales component to our website, so we can sell our artist work through the website. And we're working on a store. There you go. Right. And the virtual, our first virtual uh, exhibit is coming right up in uh, December. So that's uh, our biggest thing. It's from 11 9 and, until December 13th. And it's called the Holiday Squares Exhibit. And it's a virtual fundraiser for us. Everything will be $100. And all the arts from our membership. Um, it's kind of exciting to see the range of art that's available from us when we put them all together. We hope well, lots of people tune in for that. We're going to put up the information to guide people to the website and to that particular event. And I really appreciate you taking time. You know, it, we have such a thriving arts community. And the Artist Council provides so much great support and also showcases these artists. So it's important to keep things going and keep things online when we can't necessarily get out to our favorite galleries and see our favorite artists. So ladies, thank you so much for your hard work and thanks for being on Eye in the Desert today. Thank our you pleasure. for having us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.